fucking VR. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. There's the thing. That's the sound of me. That is the sound of the stream starting. That's the if thing. you hear that sound, you know we've started streaming. That I mean, is... it used to mean that you found a, a, a hidden thing in Chrono Trigger, and you couldn't open it, and you couldn't open it, right? But, you were like, yeah, but mm, now, I can't open now, this thing. it means that we've started. I've started. Today it's we. I'm moving the mic closer to my mouth. Ah. Jesus, H. Murphy. Uh, okay. I think I'm trying to wait for it to come up right now. Uh, why did it only say 22 seconds? Hmm. That's weird. What? Nothing. What the hell? Yeah, what the hell? Mm, my chat's still loading, but that's... That's fine. It's because I'm I'm oh, it's because whatever internet I'm using <clears throat> is yours. Yes. All right. It's not the best. Well, especially with so many things activated to it. All right. So, but we have Onyx the game machine in the chat. Do we? Yes. Do we? Cool. Yes. Hi Onyx. Welcome Onyx. The show will start momentarily. We uh, <sighs> Next week, I promise <clears throat> the show will be a bit more prepared. We're we're here um, in uh, uh, new, well, new for the IW for the CT Live show. We're in uh, the Mink Live Studio. I, I've been gracious enough to allow CT Live to come into my establishment since I am the face of CT Live. The reason why you guys come here. He's he's got a point that is that is pretty much true, so yeah. But so where I was going with that is yes, we've got the new studio here in the background. Um, it's you know, it's the Bink Live Studio. We're not we're not gonna criticize it. He's gracious enough to let us use it. That's right. It's not it's not the the prideful entertainment studio. But uh, if you've ever seen the background of my uh, my camera, it's, it's boring. Boring as hell. Yeah, I got a poster to put up. That's what I got. Maybe I'll put it up for Thursday. Hey, there you go. All right. So um, we are getting ready to start next week. I promise everything will be much more crisp. I will have entrance music uh for you guys because i am pretty sure as in uh last time the first 21 episodes that we did and uh, six major events um we uh it took us about half of that to realize the entrance music was not playing for you guys um because reasons yeah uh so because of those reasons we i have been gathering together entrance music for quite a long time if those of you who have uh enjoyed the classic CT Live videos uh, Prideful Entertainment has edited together. Um, we have added um, entrance music and cut out uh, loading screens so that it's just a much more smooth awesome show. Uh, if you haven't checked those out, definitely do. Today, this afternoon we will be I will be airing a uh, vodcast on the Twitch channel Prideful Entertainment. The uh, Our first ever uh, major event, which was CT Live Devastation. Uh, it was the very first CT Live event that Bink joined me for. Yep. Um, and he has joined me for everyone since. So, uh, check that out. And, I mean, are, are, are you about ready for the show? Are you yeah, ready to I'm, start? I'm I mean, pretty good. I'm just making sure I'm actually hosting you on my channel. Yeah. Right, yeah. Cause it's, I think I am. Okay. I think. I mean... Onyx, is he hosting? Onyx might be able to figure it out a lot faster. Probably, but... Um... So yes, entrance music, I will have entrance music, we'll have it here, live here in the studio, um, so that you guys can hear it. Hopefully, hopefully, it won't screw us over trying to bring the entrance music for you guys and get our audio muted by Twitch. I did have one video in which I put music to. In all fairness, I didn't exactly edit the music very much at all. Um, so I apologize that the CT Live trailer, the return trailer, uh, did not have any audio on, on the Twitch, Twitch channel. Yeah. 
Um, it is on our it is on our YouTube page. Um, you can find it there with audio. As much as YouTube has copyright banned everything, they didn't bother to touch that one. Luckily. Anyway, um, we'll also have our show theme for you next week. So we'll start with actual music. Uh, maybe not right as the show starts, because I think that might be part of what got the audio banned, is the, the song starting right from the beginning of the the. Anyway. Maybe. So, starting? Yes? Um, We're good? He says he's ho- he, he's auto-hosting. It's like I'm checking my, my host settings. I well, thought I had you at the top of my uh-huh. list, but for some reason it's just not showing that you're host uh, that I'm hosting you. Damn you, Twitch! How dare you do these things to us? It's alright, I'll tell you who's hosting who. Give me a second. Oh, shite. Is the audio muted on this one? Tis not. Tis now. No. Day so weird. Yeah. That's all right though. It's fine. All right. Okay. So we're gonna start. I uh, usually it tells me who's auto hosting and who's not. Yeah. I can't figure out where that page is though. It's uh, in the hosting part of the dashboard. Oh, we're hosting. It's. Down, down, on the page, the actual page. But down there and somewhere. Down one of those columns. There it is. Uh, <laughs> auto hosting you. Three people are currently auto hosting me. Okay. Oh, there are currently no channels auto hosting, hosting you. That's weird. That's, that is weird. All right. Hmm. I do have five viewers, though. So, starting before I lose five viewers. Yes. <clears throat> uh, I hear no sound. No, there is no sound at all. No, none. Well, there's sound, but, I mean, for this. Hmm. Oh, because I probably changed the, uh, turned the music off. Yeah, probably. Most likely. But we'll have a theme music for it next week. Or the music was just banned off the the channel. I don't know. No, because we always heard it be- when we did we it We did live. hear it when we did it live. It's just that nobody else heard it <laughs> when we did it live. That is so weird. There's no music. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. CT Live. Welcome I was trying to do music. Welcome everybody to CT Live. There you go. That. Definitely a crowd. crowd. Is, yeah, the crowd is hyped up for our event here tonight. Look at that for arena. Home. For our return, we uh we had to change arenas. We lost our initial, our larger arena. We are now in a smaller, um, smaller venue. Smaller venue, but it is okay. <coughs> it is okay. We will grow as we once did before. Of um, course. Coming out to the ring now is uh. How do you not do that? Oh, does somebody have to do it? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just this one. Okay, I was gonna say I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. That. 
and waiting on a loading screen. Okay. I've tested this out before, so I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing. If not, then, you know, I screwed the pooch. Well, but I have tested this out before, and it does auto, you know, we, we, we don't have to actually, it, will, it simulates everything as before. So, for those of you who do not know how this works, this is the IWS Independent Wrestling Streams, CT Live, CT stands for Custom Talent, and we are live, we are. obviously. Um, all of the talents featured on the show are custom made. None of them are real people. They are all made by uh, either myself or Bink, um, which I made one and he made one. And all the rest were designed by you guys in the IWS, you know, universe out there. Um, you guys created them. Some of them were created on the two six, 2016 game, um, which I recreated to the best of my ability if I could not find the character or a new character. Um on 2k18 and here comes fate to the ring with a microphone yeah. well he is the hardcore champion he's allowed to have some mic time he uh, he's gonna take his his mic time are you gonna say no I'm I'm not gonna say no I I So yes, so continuing to, uh, we'll wait till the promo is finished before I finish that. Uh, there's no voice. No, there's no voice. Uh, you just guys have to learn how to read. If you don't know how to read, I'm, I'm sorry. That's uh, there, man. And they call me the heel. I w they call me the bad guy, and you're the one saying that nobody can read. Look, I'm not saying most people can read. And, and he meant IWS, not WWE. He yep, meant yep. IWS is what and he who meant. who the hell is Stephanie McMahon? Wow. Wow. Out of all the promos I have watched in play, this is the first time they've name-dropped anything that that much. Anyway. He's getting the crowd behind him a little bit. He, he is. He's, he's The crowd is loving this. He is, he is... At this point, I do believe he may be the meanest, baddest, you know... Hardcore, Hardcore champion. champion in this place. I, 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 he's getting the crowd pumped up. I mean, yeah. I never took fate as a, is a, is a, a fan kind of guy, but you know, eight months we we've been down. Eight months he's been holding on to that belt without any way to defend it, and and. I mean, you gotta you gotta think he's ready to put it on the line against somebody. It doesn't mean anything if you're not, you know, you're not in a show. Exactly. Wow. I am I am excited for his return match next week. I really am. I am too. And I I I, I can say I know who his opponent is for next week. Oh. Next week making his return will be, and I'll say it for you, the British sensation, Jason Williams. Oh my god, he got it right. First try. Miracles never cease. Uh, no, no they don't. Um, going into our, ne our, our, our next match, uh, is, is uh, new talent featured here on our 22nd episode of CT Live. Eddie, G Eddie, Eddie Jean? Eddie Jean. Eddie Jean. Jean. Eddie Jean. I have Eddie pronunciation Jean and Noah for that. Danger. We lo Noah Danger, uh, our very first hardcore champion, um, went from being what, what we called probably the least prepared hardcore champion we had ever had to proving that he really could. Finally said it right. Ah, Lord. Yes, yes. All right, I know the guy's name. I'm just not a fan of anybody from Liverpool. And I've said that before. I don't hate what? people. I mean, most people from Liverpool can't read. That's why they couldn't read Faith's promo. So, I just, it, it's... What do you have against people from Liverpool? Is it really their li their literacy level? It, it It is kind of their literacy level. I just, it's... It's terrible. 
That's it's, terrible. You got to be able to read basic English. I mean, and again, people call me the bad guy. You are a douchebag. You hit me with a fucking chair. Yeah. Well, you know, a you chair. Deserve, you deserved it. Okay, you deserved it. Ugh. Look, we're past that. Okay, we're, that was like last year. Okay, we're fine now. We're fine. It's all good. So, continuing to try to explain how this works real quick before we get into the next match. Uh, this is a fantasy wrestling show at a CT Live cust uh, uh, Custom Talent Live. Um, Bink and I commentate to uh, a fantasy wrestling show of all custom talent. Everything here is uh, generated. We don't have any idea what how the matches are going to come out. Yeah. We don't script anything. It is all live and completely raw and unscripted. So yeah. Um, so also, for yeah. Also, let us know if you can actually hear the music of his, this guy's entrance. Yes, that would be. A, I would. I would that like would to know. Be a helpful information. Can you hear his entrance music? But Eddie Jean making his way to the ring. As you can see, he shot for the moon. That's this thing. He shoots for the moon. Uh, on the nameplate, you can see the Twitter hashtag or the Twitter at. Where is Eddie? Where is... Where's your notes? Look through your notes. Come on, you're, more, you're usually more prepared than this. Oh, I have them all here. Eddie, I was on the wrong set. Uh, Eddie... Eddie's user... Uh, yeah. His Twitter is Uncultured Fits. Okay. At Uncultured Fits. The uh, PlayStation user is Chris Fitz 666 Okay. Um, but... Enough about him. We've got a former champion gracing us with his presence right now. Look at that beautiful entrance. Look at that. Unfortunately, can't hear. Nobody else can hear his music, but it is the same entrance music we used for him previously. Previously, and next week when I have all of the entrance music uh, via the uh, amazing sound system I have behind me that you can't see. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. It's super it's amazing. It's super amazing. Um, we will have the entrance music for that as well. Yeah, yeah. So, so high tech. Super high tech. You guys don't even know. It is. So high tech. But you got to wonder if Noah Danger wants to be back in that hardcore title picture. I love his new logo. I love his new logo on there. That, that In Danger logo. I yeah. love that. I love that. All right, so let's see how these two uh, two um, settle in. This is their first open oh, match for wow. the return of IWS. And Eddie Jean with a huge sling blade to Noah Danger. Uh, Taking him right off guard, right off the beginning of the match. Oof. Nice little face plant maneuver. I mean, I, I wow. Noah... Just right off the get-go, has just well. Who? This is Eddie's, and pretty much his uh, opening match, his first match here at CT Live. So he's got to prove a lot to everyone. And Danger is definitely the man to want to prove something too. I mean, he, he's not the top guy in 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 the uh, CT, the, you know, in the, in the IWS. But at the same time, he's not the bottom. No. You know, he's a very he's a good very, starting stepping stone. A lot of people have a lot of respect for Noah Danger. I will admit that. On it, and yes. he is yes. a former champion. A win over him would skyrocket Eddie you know, in the title pictures. Oh! Nice drop kick. Like that Eddie. drop kick just skyrocketed Noah into the other side of the ring. Well, like, like I said earlier, Eddie says he likes to shoot for the moon. Oh, man. That was some raw power, just picking up Noah Danger and dropping him hard to the mat. Yeah, back what you said just a minute ago. I, uh, I, I'm I going to quote, you know, one of one of your personal friends. Oh, hold on, pinfall one. Ooh, okay. one count only. Uh, Brent Tolos. Uh, Brent Tolos said specifically, Noah Danger can beat any, pers any person one-on-one -on -one in that locker room on any given night. It's very true. And coming from a man who has proven that not only is he an amazing tag team division oh, what's uh, doing competitor. Here? Oh, oh, exposing that uh, referee, turnbuckle. Referee was kind of... Oh! 
Referee's back was turned. Yeah, referee was looking in on Noah to make sure he was okay. We and fired the old ref, by the way. Yeah, we have I got rid ref. of that guy. Just, just totally we got rid of that guy. Oh, I just saw this new ref scratch his ass. That's not hygienic. Oh, man. Fire him, too. Fuck it. Oh, and down. Looks like Noah is finally gaining some momentum. Yeah, unfortunately, the music for the intros is still cannot be heard while they're streaming. That is okay. That is okay, because we all have our own entrance music. Ooh. And I promise you, I promise you, those entrance musics are way better than the ones that we had here preset to the game. They're also unique to our custom talents, so they're not copies of any other, you know, oh, brand up and down theme. We've in all the months we've we've done this, we have never seen Noah Danger in this kind of predicament. Eddie Jean is taking Noah Danger to school right now. And, and Noah is no novice at this. I mean, maybe there might be a little bit of ring rust, but I know all of these guys were working out for weeks. Uh, they were. They were. They've been working uh, out for weeks leading up to this. I mean, in the uh, confidence. Eddie. Oh, man. I don't know what that is, but... He's going in for the pin. One, two, three. Two count. Two count only. That was... Noah. That was a two count. Noah kicked out just at the last second. That looked I mean, like a that... three count. That really. I'm going to say like good call count. by the ref. Good call by the ref to keep this match going. Yeah, Eddie I mean, does not look happy about that call, though. I, I, I don't blame him. That... Good call by the ref. I think. Oh, he's setting him up. Oh, oh flying right. forearm. Right on the button. Yeah, right on the nose, too. Only a two count. Eddie, though, seems like that near fall just only just made him angry. Let's see. Which one? Oh, he's got a... Or TKO. Uh, TK is a finisher. Oh, okay. I tried to write him down as best I could. Okay. Oh man. Ooh. Ooh. Huge elbows right to the just just those shoulders. That's gonna make it hard for for Noah to pick up Eddie and do anything. Yeah. Two. Man, it's gonna make it hard for Noah just to kick out at this point. Eddie, though, working out that taped shoulder. Oh boy! Oh, he's climbing to the very up to top. the top. Noah, though, waking up. Oh, top rope, top rope, top rope per Kimrana. I am glad everyone in the chat is enjoying this. Uh, it only gets much more action-packed. This is just the first match of our show. Um, I'm just gonna say I love having that watermark that in is the good. corner. That, that is a good watermark. Oh, Noah just throwing I, I love it into the corner. Noah, can Noah mount a comeback? Oh, oh. What? Oh, oh into the right cross face. Right right into that danger lock as he called it oh man unfortunately Eddie had it well scouted oh but here comes oh, oh reversed he, he was going for that crucifix power bomb was, the, the danger drop three count oh and Eddie sneaky steals the oh. win oh Noah Completely surprised, taken back by that. Wow, what a fucking match that was. Eddie, in his first match here at CT Live, 
puts on a hell of a show. That right there, that amazing flying forearm right on the button, right on the side of Danger's head. Danger, though, amazing. Da I mean, come on. Danger still had it in him. He you was got, still, he was mounting a comeback you before think. Eddie snuck that roll up. You gotta think, something's gotta be up with Danger. Either that or he just wasn't prepared. He just wasn't prepared. We gotta, you gotta fix that, man. What the hell? I, uh, the, the, Why does your controller turn off? Why does your controller turn off? Probably because it's been idle. Why did? Why do you have that set? I don't know. Look at this. Danger, danger. S telling the ref. Shouldn't have happened that way. I mean, it was a clear three count. It I was. mean, danger was down. Danger, you know, Eddie rolled off as soon as the referee's hand hit three to and rolled right out of the honest, ring. I think Eddie won twice, to be honest. He had two, two, in my opinion, three counts. I, I mean, I still feel it was a good call by the ref. I really, really do. Um, but hey now the music for the show is working it's probably a glitch that needs to be patched in the 2k probably. well they won't be able game. to hear it they won't be able to hear no, it no but i was you know yeah, in our ear this was the music that we were supposed to have for our intro theme when we started it yeah welcome iris boa yes welcome er boa iris boa i'm sorry i'm horrible i'm horrible but Anyway, our uh, next match, we got Sofia Tolos of the Illuminati facing off against new talent here, Nikki Graham. Um, Boa, all right, so to answer your question, yes, this is a call universe. If you would like your character to join this call universe, um, hit us up on either my Twitter, at IronHobbit7. Um, or, or at the Bink Deadpool. On uh, either one of us let us know uh, what hashtags to look for your character on on the 2K18 game. Uh, we will download it and make sure everything is all nice and awesome. Uh, make sure you have an entrance, move set, um, everything, you know, make sure you have everything ready to go. Make sure your character is fair. We don't, you know, no, uh, no, you know. And if you want, you could send us a little thing like, this is my gimmick. Absolutely. I, we would love that. We would love if you already have your own gimmick planned out. Just hit us up, let us know, and I would I would love if you would get us a character to use. I, You know, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That'd be awesome. Eric. We'll Eric. call you Eric. All right. So, moving on to the next match, the... Former, what is she? Three times? Oh, Two times? Three me, times? You me, got your notes, Mr. I was gonna say, Mr. I, Face. I have the championship list in here. So let me check the women's championship. Uh, Sophia was only a one time champion. Longest reigning? No, she only held it, or no, she was two, two week, or a two time champion. She in, in total held it for 12 weeks. But is the longest running champion though? Eleven Long, weeks running. Longest reign. No, so longest reign. Longest reign. Longest reign with eleven weeks, and she's held the longest with twelve weeks. Sporting the Illuminati logo on her shirt, brother to a, a personal friend of yours, Brent Tolos. Brent Tolos. You know, they, they. You know, last last time we were doing this thing, yeah, they. they I was helping them. Get their foot in the door in CT Live, you know. <laughs> and while they were here, they did amazing. They they are currently holding the tag team championships, I believe. Their uh, their former manager, um, who was not signed to CT Live. No, he was he was a, a free agent. Um, is not currently with them. He is still a, a, a very good friends with the Illuminati. Um, he is just currently preoccupied with whatever. I will have to say, I'm a huge fan of What Culture now, though. Yeah, What Culture is okay. It's not as good as. It oh used no, to they're be. amazing now. But what I will, Culture is. A, I I am totally pro What Culture uh, now. I will say that you should definitely check out Culture Culture Hol Holic. Oh god, Hol no, it's got all the worst people from What Culture in it. Ah. Uh. No, it's got the best ones, okay? Yeah. It's got Adam Pachiti, 
and King, you know, former King Ross. This woman, I this is a new talent to the IWS to CT Live, Nikki Graham. I have not seen this woman before. Neither have I. She looks dangerous. She kind of does. She is a little. It looks a little off. Oh yeah. Sophia seems unimpressed by her. Little sw oh man, oh my God, what a powerhouse and Nikki Graham. Say, I was not expecting. Oh, but you got to remember, <clears throat> you so watch Sophia walk out with her brother and her brother's partner, and she stands tall. Yeah. Looking at Sophia in the women's division, she is a huge woman. Yeah, Amazonian tall. But you got, I also remember. Uh, Sophia taking on some of the best we had in the women's division. Oh during man! The rain. I'm pretty sure she took on one of our our best competitors at the time, uh, a woman by the name of Maya. Maya. Uh, Maya is currently uh, still signed with IWS, though she is seeking other ven ventures at the moment. Jeez. Oh my God! Uh, Brutal headbutts. And was not um, is not a part of the show as of this moment. Well, I do hope that we get to see a return from Maya. I was about to say, hopefully, uh, our our management team is in negotiations with her, to try and get her back. Oh, that devastating kick to Sophia Tolos. We're not used to seeing the former two-time women's champion in this much of a predicament. Oh, what a pile driver! Jesus. One. Ooh, only a one count. Yeah, remember, that is a former 11-week running women's champion. She held it for the longest. Took it from, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, probably the favorite, uh, uh, She-Wolf Rabiki. Uh, no, I, oh, well, yeah, at that reign, yes. Yes. The, uh, Her most she will... recent reign, she took it from now current champion Alyssa Storm. Um, we are we are actually in negotiations with uh, um, uh, uh, B BTW. Uh, I I don't have my notes on me. Uh, okay. Uh, for the the, the return of the She Wolf I, We are currently in negotiations uh, with the owner of that uh, brand. Um, if She Wolf Rabiki can be used. Uh, if, if it's some, we're working on it. We would love to see. I mean, literally, she was the IWS crowd favorite. Oh yeah. She was the fan favorite she of our is, women's she division. She held the title the second longest at seven weeks. I honestly think that she could have won it back from Sophia if oh. given if if given enough time before. Uh, we were unfortunately due to legal obligations unable to. Uh, she, use she her character. To, yeah, she had to move on to another company. Welcome, Epic Gaming. This match has spilled out to the outside. It has. Sophia is trying to take take oh. it out where she can do some damage to the muscle woman. She had to. Oh, now throwing her down. Oh, the ramp man. Line. This is not where Nikki wants to be. This is where Sophia is most dangerous. And Sophia, since this is non-title, she really has nothing to lose. The referee's still counting, though. It's a nine count. Ten. Sophia, Sophia wins Sophia. with a count out victory. That, I'm going to say, yeah, this is exactly the problem with Sophia Tolos. What, intelligence? She Win. It's as a cheap win. That was intelligent. She is a cheap win. That was intelligent. She couldn't. She. 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 I mean, it was a great fight. That was this coming. That was turning into an amazing no, match. This, this is and why she bam. is the most dominant woman in the female division. I'm sorry. I am sorry for you guys in the IWS universe that Sophia Tolos was not willing to just just ah. Uh. Look. Look. Okay. You're just judging sheer intelligence from the woman. You're hating on her. I, You're I, a hater. Should I get you some haterade? 
Yes, yes. Please get me some haterade. I think I'm, you have some right next. I do have some right next to me. Place called Dunkin' Donuts. Not, our not officially sponsored. sponsored. Our non-sponsor sponsor. Ah, mine is peppermint that's good mocha. It's that's, delicious. That's good coffee. So our next match is a tag team match. Um. Probably, I'm going to go with probably the worst tag team in the CT Live division. I love all of the talents in CT Live, but probably the worst tag team. By worst, I mean they had the worst luck. Um, oh, uh, yes, the team of Guy Berg, right? Uh, Eric, if you're still watching, uh, 84 is great. You can up that a little bit. Uh, closer to 90 if you would like that would be great um, you would fit right in you yep. would fit right in yep. um, I love it if you post us a gimmick like I said gimmicks are absolutely welcome uh, epic gaming I know bink already said hi welcome epic gaming to the stream uh, so if you don't know this is a fantasy wrestling show it is a call universe um, everything is simulated bink and I do not have any um, uh, we don't have any, any control was, who's going to win. Right. None of this is scripted. This is completely unscripted, live, raw. We're doing it live. We just commentate over it to, in the hopes of entertaining you guys. Uh, this is all they need. No, no, no. This is the face that brings yeah. everybody here. Yeah. That's the gimmick. Yeah. This is the face that brings everybody here. You're just the guy that calls the matches. So the worst I'm team... Bobby the Brain Heenan, you're Tony Schiavone. Fine. I don't want to be Tony Schiavone. <laughs> Fine. I'm Jesse the Body Ventura, you're Vince McMahon. Okay, I'm good with that. Before he was a bad guy. Damn it. That's when he was, a, he was Michael Cole. Ah. Uh, coming to the ring, like I said, probably the least successful tag team in the IWS. Unfortunately, yes. Now, they're, they're, I think one of the baddest tag teams. Well, they've gotten angry. They've got very pissed off. At the Look at that, that they logo they anything. got going. They, yeah, they do as their initials say. They bring the pain. Um, Edward Cassidy, uh, with with the uh, uh, alternate brand logo. He's got the the ooh, well, he's got the BTP, the bring the pain logo on the back, and the undisputed. Uh, era uh cfo shirt on ah. cfo is actually another brand that edward cassidy is a part of ah. I, we are gracious enough to have him on ours as well all right um a little bit of cross branding a little there. bit of cross branding i'm down i'm down for the cross branding the cross branding means we get better talent absolutely we get new talent like these gentlemen uh you got currently t, t. Oh, okay. Um, that's, that's literally that's... what they wrote down when they came in. What's your tag team name? They just wrote the letter T. Uh, uh, these guys. Really? Is that is that oh, okay? I, right. I have no idea. Like I said, uh, when names? I asked when I asked Tim for info, Tom? when I asked for info, they were told we we don't we don't know. They they were they signed up. Oh, okay. So I guess we're gonna see what these guys are all about. I mean, I, I guess. They just seem like two dudes. Two dudes. All right. That's the name of their team. Okay. Two dudes. Okay. Whatever works, I guess. I mean, I, to me, I kind of feel like this is a bunch of schlobs that, you know. Well, I mean, maybe this is what BTB or BTP need to, to get back on the uh, winning track. Edward Cassidy little, showing off. I was about to say, a little bit of showing off there. I mean, I feel like this is what some of the other brands do by putting local talent in your your big live show and letting them get beat up. I mean, hopefully these guys aren't just local talent. I hope not. Uh, let's see what they got, though. Edward Cassidy is definitely I'm just uh, toying with the man. Who is he? I don't. You didn't even tell this. Uh, so okay, so the man is. fighting here is James Cross. I do know that his name is James Cross. Uh, the uploader for James Cross is James Cross WWE. Okay. Um, and the Twitter is Ride or Die 
uh, ride or DII 1995. Okay. Um, I do not know for sure if all of the Twitter handles that they have here are actual active Twitter handles. The ones that I know are real are there, um, and the ones that I know for sure were fake, I uh, changed to the uploader okay. for their, their uh, Twitter handle, if they Whoop. may or may not have an actual Twitter handle. Edward Cassidy pump handle, gut slam. Cross tags in his partner. This wild looking man. Look at this wild looking. Oh! Obviously, the powerhouse of the two. What's the. Who's this man? Mr. Note, Note Man. Uh, in the ring now, uh, I, was, I was also looking at notes for a question in our chat. Uh. Um, all right, so to answer uh, Onyx the Gaming Machine's question first, uh, I cannot confirm or deny any rumors at this point on that particular subject, as I do not want to get... Steam Stamos. It sounds like John I mean, Stamos' brother. Uh, uh, I cannot confirm or deny. Trouble? I cannot confirm or deny well, anything. Well, as Edward Cassidy throwing Guy right into... Guy, we saw man. Guy. Guy, one of the smallest competitors here before. Just, I mean, wow. Wow. What an athlete in Guy. Um, a lot of heart. I'll give him that. I cannot confirm or deny Onyx. I can say there are over 20 talents in tops right now. Uh, and that name is is one of them in the talk. I cannot confirm or deny anything other than that, but that name is on the list of one Definitely of... Definitely not near the top, right? I, I Like I said, I, I can't mean, confirm or deny anything. I mean, who even is that guy? Um, I do know, but again, my hands are tied, my mouth is sealed as far as that goes. I don't want to get in trouble with the bosses. Right, right. Um, God forbid I have to if, carry this show I will by say myself. This, if we do see Ricky Stamos here on CT Live, it'll bring us more prestige than having that Liverpool douchebag. The British sensation Jason Williams brings so much prestige to see. It, it, he doesn't really, though. He yes, really he doesn't. Does. Yes, he does. Uh, and you'll see it. Next the other week. man, James Cross's talent. <laughs> um, His tag team uh, partner, you mean? Is KJ Sharp. Ah. Uh, and to answer that question. Okay. His name is KJ Sharp. And again, I don't know much about these guys. I, I, I don't. I do know that they are taking Guy Berg to town at the moment. At this point, yeah. Usually it seem, it, it's the opposite when Guy gets in the ring. Well, they've actually been good at keeping Guy from gaining the momentum he needs. Kept him in that corner. They've been double teaming him very aggressively. Just taking it to Guy Berg. Oh, wow. Wow. So these, that's what these guys are about. They look like a bunch of slumps, but once they got Guy in that corner, they have been nothing but gruesomely just, aggressive. Yeah, just devastatingly aggressive. Oh. What is he going to do from oh, up there? No. I don't know. He's on the second rope. Oh, oh. double axe handle. Guy looked like he was going to put up a knee to try to block it. Didn't no, no effect. No effect to it. Oh. Quick as lightning, too. This is unfortunately what's happened to BTP in just about every match they've had here in IWS. Yeah. It, they've just, they get the short end of the stick. Oh. Oh man. That that could cause a concussion. That that is one of his signature moves, a rope uh, top rope hung DDT. We may be looking for a finisher here. Maybe. 
Oh, uh, tag team finisher. Uh-oh. Tower of Doom superplex. Oh, my God. I would not get up a firework key. And, oh, sharp right on Cassidy. Yep. That's it. The winner's T. Two dudes. Yeah, two dudes. Two dudes. Uh, hello, Toxic and Shots. Toxic X Shots. Welcome, Toxic, to the to the uh, to the CT Live Fantasy Wrestling Show. Yee. Look at that! Look at that DDT. That was a devastating. Gee. Oh man! DDT to Gee. And that superplex, that, 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 oh, man. Look, we're going to see it again. That was it. That was it for Geeberg. I really think the moment that the match ended, though, was when he took that DDT from the top rope. That was the point where Gee was just out of it. No, no, unfortunately, I don't think either of us play super cards. No, unfortunately, um, I don't. What was his name? What were their names? KJ Sharp and James Cross. I will say for a couple of guys that look like local talent, they, uh, they definitely made their mark as their first stepping stone in their debut match. I expected better out of BTP. Um. Yeah, BTP has been like pretty much like saying that they were gonna do dominate the tag team division upon coming back, and uh, that's not a good way to show domination. Let me tell you. No, no, not at all. That's uh. A, one good way is a stiff chair shot right to the head. Am I right? That yeah. didn't that didn't show anything other than Neanderthalic aggressiveness. Showed domination is what it did. We are uh, we are gonna have a promo here uh, from Alyssa Storm coming up in just a few minutes. Our current women's champion. Um, I, I'd like to say thank you for everybody joining us uh, to uh, the IWS presents CT Live, uh, our fantasy wrestling show. Welcome, legit boss Sasha Banks. Honestly, I, I really hope that is the real Sasha Banks. That would be, that would amazing. be amazing. That would be amazing. Um, but whoever you are, welcome. Welcome to the show. Uh, this this is a fantasy wrestling show. Everything is simulated. It is completely unscripted. We have no idea what's going on, what's going to happen, or what Miss. IWS Women's Champion Alyssa Storm is going to come out and talk about. Yeah. Or the fact that she has no voice and we'll have to read it, actually. So. Uh, are we going to read it? I'm not going to read it. I, I, but, I mean, I'm not allowed. I was going to kind right. of skim it. Okay. While she just yeah, the unfortunately, thing. there's no voice. Um, but that's okay. Uh, see, that's okay. Yeah, she does have some haters. I will agree yeah. with that. Okay. A lot of other women, you know, see that they should be holding the uh, women's championship. One of them being Sophia Tolos. Absolutely. She, uh, Alyssa winning the championship from Sophia in our last episode of CT Live. Um... She seems quite angry. Yeah, she's pretty much, uh, by the sound of it, saying that she wants to make a, you know, the name for herself that she should have made months ago. Absolutely. And unable to. Pretty much saying that she can be... Uh, the IWS deserved the very best, and she pretty much should be that. Or should be seen as that, I should say. She has the title. Yeah. That, that... She already has the title. Yeah. 
So I, I think what she really wants is real competition. Probably. Some, something to prove that she deserves that title. Yeah, because she's already the champion. Don't forget that. You are still the champion. She is still the champion. Maybe uh, maybe all those blows to the head have, have got her. I don't know. I, I will say the crowd the crowd is kind of mixed on on her feeling. Yeah. I think there's some Sofia Tolos fans in the crowd. I think so. And and to be honest, I. I I think she could have run a better promo. I think that, uh, oh, oh, oh boy. Yeah, she looked in our direction. Shit. She's always pissing people off. Always pissing people off. Is <laughs> Alexa ready for Asuka, though? Nah. No one's ready for Asuka. No one's ready for Asuka. But, returning talent, Rip Zinda taking on a new talent here at CT Live. Rashad Wyatt. Is it Rashad or Rashid? Yeah, it's Rashad. It's Rashad. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure it's Rashad. Okay. Rip. Rip holding the IWS World Wrestling title. Yeah. He, he is He is one of the holders. I mean, Rip coming a long way from, from what we thought was at, at best maybe a hardcore title holder. At Rip, just man... He had some some great matches. Uh, two time, two time, two world time champion. world champion. What uh, what what a competitor there, Rip. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I just yes, absolutely. Rashad. Uh, not a lot on on Rashad as far as um information I do know that he did come from a previous organization um, that is no longer uh, around uh, that's unfortunate well we're still glad to have Rashad and, uh, here at CT live absolutely absolutely all right so Sasha's ready for her Oscar. I bet. Man. Rip Zinda. Former two time IWS World Wrestling Champion, right there. You gotta think that he's still got his sights set on Cole Thomas. Oh, man. Yeah. That, that. That could not have been squashed. I mean, he's got a got a big stepping stone to get through, though. I mean, he's a lot of people are wanting that title from Cole Thomas, and and we don't know all of the returning. You know, there may be some other talents. There there were a couple, um, one of which I'm not I'm not allowed to mention at this point uh, for legal issues, but. Uh, we have not seen Tyson Woods. No. He was the most In a good dominant. six or eight months. He, him and uh, I believe the other one we haven't heard from yet is Jeff Brooks. Two of our like most dominant world champions. Absolutely. They went back and forth for quite a while with that title. Um, neither uh, have been heard from for months. You know, that is those are definitely possible, you know, contenders if they make a return. I mean, hell, Eddie Jean. Eddie Jean, the, the way he took on Noah earlier, that's definitely going to put him up. He did kind of dominate him. And Rashad Wyatt. Definitely looks like he's ready to be here. They see, yeah. He, I mean, it seems very excited. A crowd, crowd here at the arena is hyped, definitely hyped. 
Nice. like a transformation just happened oh yeah rip was, uh, better was, be careful I was about to say he was all happy-go-lucky when he came out and as soon as he got to the ring ringside it's like the start of a transformation among the man great lock around the waist there just throwing rip zinda absurding his power Rip, Rip though. Yeah. Veteran. Showing that he isn't going to back down. Well, Rip has been doing this for, for a good number of years. Veteran is definitely the right term for that. Referee. Oh, oh. Unclean break. He didn't even hesitate. Beautiful snap suplex though. Rip. Possibly the crowd favorite for this match. Oh, oh. oh man! Well, you gotta think he's the one the fans know, you know. And and Rashad, while putting on a great entrance, yeah, you know, he's got he's still gotta prove himself to the IWS universe. You gotta gotta show what you're made of. That was a brain buster if I ever saw one. Rashid though. Almost looked like it just woke him up. Or excuse me, Rashad. And I, wow. Completely throwing him off his game there. Yeah, it looks like the Rip is completely dazed right now. You know, a lot of, a lot of, and I'm going to say this, I've, I've heard this said to me before. A lot of people think that moves like that, what, like what Rashad just did, ow. God, what a gut buster. Right. Hey, it looked like it hit him right in the chest. It looked almost like it was his stomach. I almost expected Rip to blow chunks across the ring. Uh, twirling, twirling a man around like that, you know, a lot of, I've been told it's, you know, it's too showy, too flashy, but really it's effective. You get the man spinning around like that, they get disoriented, it's harder for them to get up. Yep. Oh, oh, right on that steel ringside. Those metal gates do not give at all. Shod. Oh. Oh, oh man. We're up to a five count now. That doesn't look like either man cares. Ooh. Oh, Rashad, Rashad back into the ring. Uh, back at the ring at, uh, what was that, eight? Eight account. That's nine. He he's gonna back out of the ring. He's gonna restart it. Rashad wants yes. more of Rip Zinda. That's a man I like to see it right there. Better than the Sophia Tolos letting the count out happen. Ooh. See, I, I think he just wanted to punish the man. Ooh. Ooh, what the hell was that? I don't know. It looked like some kind of snap slam or something. Snap side slam. Both men just trying all kinds of stuff. I don't know if everything they're doing is effective or they're just absorbing the blow. Like, I don't know, but this is a lot of damage for these two men to take on those very flimsy mats. We still haven't uh, gotten enough money to actually up, up oh, this match. Oh, Jesus. Maybe one day we'll get enough funding to get thicker mats on the outside of the ring. I've said this before. I think there's something plating inside that head of that, that mask of Rip Zenda's. But that is a hard ring post to hit. He threw Rip in the ring right at 10. The what? inexperience, the inexperience of Rashad lost him the match as he threw Rip Zinda 
into the ring right at the count what? of ten. Wow! Rip! I just... Rip almost skating by with that win. Rip got up like I don't know what happened. Yeah. I think Rip was just as confused as everyone else except for Rashad. Rashad realized what happened as soon as the ref said 10. Uh, Rashad, again, like you said, the inexperience. I mean, that is something you got to take back home and realize that you just cost yourself your debut match. Yep. It was a phenomenal match. It was a good match. It showed that he had a lot of aggression. What we got here? Rachel Rose is a new competitor. Rachel Rose. Rachel Rose is absolutely a new competitor. From what I uh, from what I know about Rachel, um, she is a badass in the ring. But I'm not 100% sure. Again, I've not actually seen her perform. Um, I... Uh, not sure my notes here seem to be different from what we have on our screen i'm very confused who jennifer v is um that is not who i have booked to face who do you have booked? i have valeria um sir look at that face that no is, that is what a woman valeria what a rebranding oh my is is that really Valeria? Yes. Now calling herself Jennifer V, our first ever CT Women's Champion. Probably one of the best women's rivalries in CT Live of all time. Her Valeria and Maya. versus Maya. Man, that spanned for weeks. And they were back and forth between each other. I'm... Wow. Just... I, I, I can't wait to see what she does here. Beautiful far shot of the arena. Frank's Tube 3. That is the original uploader for both the original Valeria and Jennifer V. Nice. Um, so, yeah, I did not do any any actual work to rebuild that is the actual rebranding of Valeria um, all gimmick and story aside beautiful rebrand work by Frank's tube oh, yeah. um, I love it I love it absolutely love it and wow she seems excited to be here Oh yeah, our first ever CT Live Women's Champion is definitely glad to be back in the home that she made. I mean, could you see that belt around her waist again? I mean, I, I could I could definitely see... Definitely a possibility. ...that belt happening around her waist again. And coming to the ring now... Rachel Rose at the Rose Garden. I do believe that is an actual Twitter page. I do believe I, I researched that one. Um, I unfortunately forgot to write down the uploader name for Rachel Rose. Uh, I will go back and do my research to find that one. She is the say, only one I forgot to write down. I say, you're going to have to do that. I do believe that I forgot to write it down because uh, it, it, it might have been the uploader name and the same and the Twitter handle. Oh, okay. I, I, it may have been that, and that's why I forgot to write it down. I did a whole bunch load of work, so some of it's a tad bit foggy. But what an amazing entrance from Rachel Rose here. Yep. It's definitely going to be a great match between these two women. Jennifer B or Jennifer Valeria if I will is a hell of a female to take on for your first match here at CT Live
Rachel has a big, big mountain to take on here in Valeria. Oh. Valeria with the quickness. It's that quickness we saw so many times against I mean, when she was fighting against Maya. My, both both those women. I, I mean, Rachel, I do not know what to expect from Rachel, but I know what we can expect from Valeria, from Jennifer V here. Um, you, can, you can expect quickness. Power. Power. Aggressiveness. Beauty. Yeah. See? What what a woman. Exactly. What a gimmick. Into the pin. Holding her face down. Only getting the one count. A little bit of mind games it looked like there for a second. Oh, wow. <laughs> and Rachel had none of it. Ooh. There's a small submission move right there. I wonder if Valeria is going to tap to this. No, no. she's going to power. Just, that's that the power. Yes, exactly. There's that strength. Oh, my. What is she going to do here? Ooh. Make her earn eat turn buckle right now. Wow, and the crowd ate that up. Just like uh, Rose did right there. Oh yeah, in all of that turnbuckle. Ate that whole turnbuckle and oh, the padding. Spine buster in response to that. Only oh, seemed to make her mad. Oh, both women very aggressive. It seems like they're almost showing each other how more how much more aggressive they can be than the other almost uh -oh. valeria calling to uh -oh. her what are we gonna see here i keep Go calling her valeria oh. oh just too short missed the punch she missed the punch off of the second rope oh, oh belly to back paid for it definitely paid for it gross threw her into the corner rose calling for something Ooh. Oh, that kick! Uh oh, uh oh! Oh man! That was a, that was a lot of athleticism right there. Oh man! Oh, but Jennifer isn't done yet. Neck breaker. Again, showing the power, and then just. Ooh. This match has been 100% back and forth. These two women are just going full ham on it. Oh, oh! God! That that was a beautiful maneuver from Rachel Rose. It was a handspring uh, uh, stunner. Neck stunner. Yeah, it was a handspring stunner. And then I oh. oh. Double knee drops. And now she's waiting, waiting like a prowling animal. Oh, God, and that jawbreaker with the foot. Eat defeat, I think that's what they call it. One, two, three. Wow, Rachel Rose picking up a victory against the first ever women's champion. Huge gut buster in that replay by Jennifer V. Um take nothing away from Jennifer there from from Valeria uh, she did not come up with the win on that but man both women proved themselves aggressive uh, Rachel Rose though what a set there at the end Alyssa Storm better watch out she's got a lot of competition looking for her title right now she does you've got especially some... in these two women right here oh man they're gonna take it right there they're gonna take it to Alyssa Storm and if they don't I, I, I will say it how you put it the uh, elegant and intelligent Sophia Tolos it's true it's true may very well sneak a win and regain her title that would make her a three-time women's champion thus solidifying herself as the most dominant female of CT Live.
Yeah. She's gonna probably have to get past that woman right there, Rachel Rose, who Which, definitely proved dominance in this say, match. After that showing right there, that is a very tall order. Wow. All right, we are coming up on the towards the end of our show here. Um, one of our newest talents is going to come out and make a promo. Um, he, I am not a fan of this guy. This guy, you're going to love this guy. This guy's name is Nicholas Pantorelli. Oh, I like the guy already. Right. I mean, I mean, you know. I'm sure he comes from a very high class Italian family. Especially with that name like that. I mean, I'm not going to say he's high class, but I mean, definitely I, he would be listed as aristocrat status. I mean, the, the guy comes, he, he's incredibly wealthy. I, I definitely, I don't like this guy. Um, he basically came in and said, no, I won't fight here. I'll do the, and he's just, just, and I'm not that, you know. Look, the man knows what he wants, okay? You're going to judge him for knowing what he wants no i'm i'm gonna judge him to get it. because i feel like he just bought his way into getting what he wants <laughs> do you see the title around his waist no no i don't I, no, no i don't there you go no it is he around hasn't bought anything yet it is around the iws world wrestling champion right now cole thomas the three time world champion cole thomas Ooh, yes yes he is Cole Thomas, man, uh, from uh, that's a man right there who going from a losing streak here to start the uh, in the CT Live to just what an amazing title Becoming title run. One of the most dominant world champions we've. Oh, see the camera guy got too close to him. He invaded his personal bubble. Nick just wanted to make sure he was, like, out of his personal bubble. That's all. These fans have no respect for, for him. I've just been told that he is in a really bad mood now. The Illuminati were heckling him on the way out to the ring about his scarf. A look, apparently, the look. Illuminati stole his scarf. Oh. Guys, come on. Give the guy back his scarf. I mean, I, I think I would prefer they just not put a mic in his hand look, at all. Look, look, all right, you just need to shut up and listen to the man, okay? He's talking business here, okay? He's trying to get shit done. See? Even the crowd knows they're not worthy. See? Right. You, you don't make friends because you... you I, He's not here to make friends. He's here to win. I mean, the Illuminati aren't nice He's guys anyway. He's here to take anyway. that title. Oh, see? Oh, Thomas. oh he is calling, calling out, out He's the calling IWS out. champ. The IWS CT Live three-time world champion, Cole Thomas. Uh-oh. There and, he is. And the Dragon is more than happy to comply. And he will grace us with his presence. Wow. Cole Thomas looks like he's been keeping up with his uh, squats and stuff over the past few months that we've been. Yeah, he he, he uh, we've been out. Uh, he he was watching actually. From what I heard, he was watching your uh, Final Fantasy VII playthrough and practicing just like Squall. Oh, or, that, uh, uh, you um, mean Cloud? Cloud. Squall's the one with you know with the scar on his face. I, I think he shot himself. He, he, sort of. He got shot, but you know. I don't, I don't know. Well, well, well. Oh, Thomas has given it to him. He's not happy. The champ is not happy. I mean, you just called the man out. Look, okay. well, he doesn't have anything to prove look, to you. Look, our, yeah, it's his time. See, as you can see, you called him out. Exactly. It is his. I, I mean, all right, I'll give him that. That was a little weird. Ask the man to come out and then be like, why are you in my spotlight? Thomas did just kind of steal his thunder, though. I mean, 
The crowd went nuts when Thomas came out. Well, it is the world champion. Oh, I uh, I agree. I completely agree. Look, look, again, nobody is, like, giving Nick the respect that he deserves right what now. What respect? He hasn't Nick, earned any respect he here in the IWS. He deserves all the respect. He comes out on his debut night, says, blah, blah, blah. Come out, champ. Yeah, he's putting himself out there. He's doing the one thing that everybody should do. And now put he's going to insult the champ by calling him himself. stupid. Exactly, he's going to put himself in the title position. This is how you do it. This is a smart tactic. I like this guy. I'm going to keep my eyes on this guy. This guy is pretty good. I like the way he works. I like the way he thinks. I like the cut of his jib. I mean, uh, I, I have to agree with Cole Thomas here. Pant Pantarelli has no idea who he is messing with in the IWS champ. This man beat Tyson Woods. Rip Zinda and Jeff Brooks for that title. Eh, all right, yeah, true. He went through all three of those men. But Pontarelli does seem like he uh, is definitely ready to take on the champ. Are we going to have ourselves a match set for next week? Oh! oh! Cole Thomas smacking him in the face with the... Oh, and this is this just this, this uh, evolved into a brawl. Pontarelli. Oh, oh. Sh taking it to the war three-time world champion. See, see, this is how the, you get. the champ this was not ready for it's a fight smart. tonight. This is the smart. champ got got egged into it. The champ got egged into a brawl. This is smart. And Pantarelli is taking Pantarelli, advantage of this. Pantarelli's putting himself he in the title. Totally position. taking advantage of this. Yeah. He's taking advantage of it by putting himself oh, in the title man. position. Welcome back, Eric. <laughs> oh, this has just completely devolved into, into a brawl. Uh, they, at least they could do. They could send a ref down here. If they could send a ref down here, that'd be great. We could make this a title match. Pantarelli doesn't deserve a title match. He basically... Look at Thomas. 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 Oh, with the power. Oh, my God. Pantarelli. Oh, that's going to hurt your back. See, Pantarelli isn't ready for a fight. What's, why is Cole Thomas attacking him like this? This isn't right. Why oh. did you do that to the man's hand? He well, uses that to hold the microphone. I was going to say, oh. maybe if he broke his arm, he can't talk in the mic anymore, and it would save us all a whole lot of... Oh. Oh, that beautiful suplex. Did you see that? I, 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 I did. I and did. I dancing <laughs> on him. Pantarelli with the dance moves. And oh. then the elbow right to the spine. There's a ref in the ring now. Yeah, the ref finally coming Finally, in. finally trying to back Pantarelli off the champ. Oh, Pantarelli, though, not done yet. Apparently he is. Apparently that's that's Apparently the end of that. Apparently we have to go to commercial. We have to cut away from this. Um, too much for the kids. Too much for the kids. This was getting overly violent. Um, wow, that completely escalated in a direction I did not expect that it to. That escalated rather quickly. But like I said, that is how you insert yourself into a title situation. Uh, he did you do that. You call out the champ. You insult the champ. You beat the champ in the ring. You piss him off to the point where he's like, fine, you want me? You got me. Yeah, yeah all right. Smart. It's intelligent. I like that man. I will I'm agree. I will him. agree that that is, that is a very correct statement. Uh, that is a very effective way to insert yourself into a match. Uh, I do not think Cole Thomas is going to take that very lightly or... Yeah, no, oh, I just don't I think don't, so. I don't think so either. Pantarelli definitely made the statement he was trying to make here today. Oh, I I believe he did. Loud wow. and clear. Awesome, awesome. Hit us up on the Twitter page, Eric. I will. I I cannot wait. I would honestly, if you get it to me early this week, I can possibly have the character featured on next Saturday's show. I was about to say, we could probably slip you into the next show. Maybe even get you a promo. 
We'll see. I'll have to talk to the higher ups. Have to talk to the to the to the uh, the powers that be, the higher ups. Yeah, that's what we call them, the higher ups. As well as follow uh, uh, the Bink Live, um, not just Prideful Entertainment, but the Bink Live. This, uh, um, being that this is a con you know a, a do converse. Uh, <laughs> we do this together, and while initially it was featured solely on my channel uh, on, on Iron Hobbit Gaming. Formerly Iron Hobbit Gaming, now Prideful Entertainment. Um, being that we are now on Twitch, um, Bink will be able to upload this and vodcast the I'm, episodes. I'm actually hosting it on my channel right, right. now. So that's and pretty much what I can do. You have access, you have permission to access my Twitter. Okay, or um, your, your Twitch page. Or my mean. Twitch page. Yeah. Um, and so you should be able to upload the video and, and put it on your Twitch page for yourself. Okay. Um, I might do that. I don't know. You're welcome to. Yeah. You are welcome to. But without further ado, we need to get to our main event. This is our main event. Our current and dominating tag team champions, the Illuminati, are taking on a couple, uh, couple new guys. And see, we already have Illuminati going on in the chat too. Illuminati signs. See, it's already Illuminati signs in our chat. Oh boy, this is the only belts that we are going to have featured on today's show is the tag team belts. On the tag team champions. Um, I want to say I think they are beautiful titles. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the look as well as, as much as I did. Brent Tolos said he was very happy. They are two times. I mean, he actually spoke to me like a normal person when he said that, that he enjoyed, you I, know, I, I was I was forced you. to interview them. I told you, they've been turning For, over a real new leaf. You didn't want to believe Jason me Jason pushed me into about. the lockers and walked away. Well, you know, he you're smaller than him. You probably thought it was funny. Brent Tolos, the one with the white and blue hair. Jason Flipper, the one with the red hair. Um... Together, they are the Illuminati. They are the two-time IWS Tag Team Champions. They are the current IWS Tag Team Champions. Come and here. they've held it for the longest time of any tag team. Or no, second longest. The team that held it the longest was the British sensation Jason Williams and Drake Morgan. Who held it for 13 weeks during their one reign until they completely devolved uh, just they that team and they pretty much handed the titles to the better team the illuminati as they beat the crap out of each other for the next three months and you know that way they didn't have to fight over the tag team titles they gave it to a better team in the ring here the illuminati's opponents in their debut match the franchise the franchise I don't see Shane Douglas in the ring. <laughs> I, I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> Old wrestling jokes. But anyway, what's the team? Who does the team consist of? It consists of. Uh, in the ring first is Burt Sullivan. Um, at Maniac underscore Rules R U L Z is the twi Twitter. Uh, Twitter. Um, and Inhaled Solid six four seven is the uploader. Oh. Um, his partner, uh... Well, right now, Bert is in a hell of a trouble, uh, heap right now, having to deal with Brent. Brent, Brent, we have seen Brent take on some of the best here in the IWS in singles competition. We know that <laughs> Brent was not the guy you wanted to start the match with. No. But now, the, the powerhouse of the two is in. Uh. Oh. What? The other guy? Jason Flipper, uh, Dana Jr. 2015 is the uploader for Jason Flipper. Uh. Good tag team tactics between the franchise. Absolutely. In the, uh, in the ring now, um, Burt Sullivan's partner, Zachary Reynolds. Uh, Zuri, Z-U-R-I 740 is the uploader. 
uh, Zachary seems to be having a small problem kicking Jason Flipper there. Uh, wow. Uh, this might be a random question. Is Zachary Reynolds related to Elijah Reynolds, who we actually had featured in CT Live? I do not know. I honestly do not know the... I will look that up. You know, you should probably have known these things. I, I am, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, fine, I should have. But, Reynolds right now taking it to Jason Flipper. Ooh. Brent is like, calling for the tag right now. Wow. What a brain buster right there. Said it once, I'll say it again. That kind of move can cause a concussion. I mean, and and Ooh. Flipper is is not, and I and I say this. Oh no! I'm not gonna say this. Oh, I no. I have been hit too many times by the oh, Illumina. No. Oh! Oh, um, those mats. They oh my are God! Not thick at all. Jason Flipper could be out. Elijah Reynolds, I think, knowing what it's going to take to to beat the Illuminati here in this main event. And like, look at it, Jason Flipper already to his feet and just taking the fight right back after that huge superplex. Though I have to say, you know, that is not the first time Jason Flipper has taken a superplex to the outside of the ring. No. And it doesn't just hurt you. Zach must have felt the effects of that oh, superplex, yeah. right too. Now Jason Flipper is using his size and his power to his advantage, as well as that damage. But right now, Jason needs to get back in the ring, if nothing else, to break the count. Illuminati, they win it again. What? I again with the the the, the ridiculous. Look. The there, ridiculous no. win tactics Look, no, by no, all no, no, of no. the Illuminati. It's veteran tactics. Veteran tactics. If your tag team partner or if your enemy's team can't pay attention to the count, the referee's count, what the hell? Yeah. He left him laying on... <sighs> it's smart. It was smart. This is why the Illuminati are the most dominant tag team here in IWS. I did I did I just see what I thought I saw? What? It looked like Jason Flipper just told Brent Tolos he guarantees that I told you we would win. What the hell was that about? I don't know. I don't know anything about that. Look, they just they they did good. They, it was good. It's good. Good first show. I'm happy. It was it was aside from that final match, the way it ended, and the match with Sophia Tolos. It was an amazing show. Great job to all of our call talents, um, all the custom talents. Thank you, everyone who joined us, watching and in the chat. Um, I cannot wait, uh, Mr. Eric Boa. I cannot. I cannot. Wait, wait for your character. Oh, boy. Please, please, please. Definitely. I cannot wait for that. Um, again, everyone else, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I'm Iron Hobbit. I'm Bink Deadpool. Uh, and this has been Prideful Entertainment and Bink Live's production of IWS Presents CT Live, Episode 22. And until the next time. Later, man. Peace. Ugh. <laughs> uh,